One of the things that I am really excited about this year is how we've been able to redo the classroom to get after collaboration and communication in the classroom. And what got me thinking about this is how educators for a long time were talking about the three R's, uh, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and how for me that really speaks about personal mastery of the material. And when I think about that, personal mastery is important. I, you know, I teach computer science and it's, it's critical that they know how to program and that they can do that well and that they can do well on the AP exam at the end of the year. But I'm reminded that it's no longer sufficient. It's no longer sufficient to have personal mastery of the material. Uh, I need my students to bring more to the table than just that. And so educators uh, have been talking more recently about the four C's, about critical thinking, about creativity, about uh, collaboration and communication. And I felt that in the past, my classroom was uh, really getting after critical thinking and creativity with some of the projects and the labs that we do. But I, I didn't feel that we were doing that well in the collaborative work as well as the communication piece. And so this year what I've done is I, I worked with students last year and then over the summer with uh, the facility director and the director of technology to basically come up with a new design for the room. And in the past, the students used to be working on individual stations and they would do mostly uh, all of the assignments on their own. This year we have come up with this idea, it's called the programming pod, and so the students work in groups now on nearly all of the assignments that they do. And the, the results have been pretty interesting. See so right now, what you're looking for, you, you did a debug statement, but since it's all compacted together, uh, you can't tell. Now when we talk about collaboration, that's a, that's a broader term and it means different things to different people. And because there's different ways to collaborate. In the past, when I have casually given uh, an assignment to students and say, hey, collaborate on this, they do the divide and conquer. Hey, you do that part and I'll do this part and we'll pull it back together. And that wasn't really what I was after. I'm, I'm after where uh, both of their minds or whoever's in the group, all of their minds are working at the same time on the same problem, where they're thinking through a problem together. And so in order to get after that, we've adopted the driver navigator uh, model of collaboration. It's uh, something that, that's used um, uh, particularly in some programming circles where in each group there is just one laptop. And that person, the person who's currently typing, in, uh, uh, typing code on the keyboard, they are the driver. And then the other people in the group are the navigators. They're looking on. We've got a nice big screen so everyone can see what's going on. And the driver is naturally thinking a little bit lower level. Do I, do I need a comma here, semicolon, that type of thing, where the navigators are asking the bigger questions. Is, is, is this what we should be doing? Should we have a for loop here? Should we maybe consider something else? And then about every, I've been doing about every six to seven minutes, we say, okay, rotate those laptops. And the laptop rotates to the next person in the group. They instantly become the driver, and the other students then become the navigator. And so all the students are working at the, in the same moment on the same problem. And it's interesting to see what takes place because it, it's really hard often for the students to communicate what they're thinking, which is, which is great, that's what I'm after. Can they learn to articulate their ideas to explain to somebody else? So often, I gotta watch the students because they'll say, oh here, just give me the laptop. They wanna take the laptop and just type in what they're thinking because that's so much easier than having to articulate and explain it. Uh, or, you know, students have to say, am I going to take the time to listen to someone else in my group and, and really try to wrap my mind around their idea, uh, their approach, which might be different than mine. So there's this higher level uh, thinking and, dis and uh, discussion going on about the project, and it's just been wonderful to see. Because if, if this is this, false, then it's not, never going to end. Does that ever show Wait, up? Wait, I have an idea. So when I think about how is this better for our students, for our students here at Columbus Academy. One of the things that I think about is when we hire someone here at Academy, uh, we, they have to know their stuff. If we're hiring a math teacher, they have to know their math. But everyone who applies seems to know their math. The difference is how good are they at uh, interacting with other people? Are they, can they collaborate well with other people? Are they articulate speakers? Do they communicate well? These are the essential skills that we're, we're, that we're looking for. And for my students in particular who are operating in a field where they're going to be competing in a global marketplace, it is valuable to them to have these people skills, to be able to uh, hear other ideas, to be able to communicate their own ideas, to collaborate well with others. These are essential skills that will make them competitive in that global marketplace.
Yeah. And so you're going to say, if char at. I feel like we got a little bit lucky with what happened. I was working with students last year, and, and I'd show them an idea and say, what about this? And they say, oh, no, not that. And other things they get excited about. And so with collaborating with the students, we came up with the idea of this pod. And there's several things about it that have just worked well for us. Uh, the fact that the table's higher, it's at drafting height, so that students can either sit or stand, and, and they're at the same height, and they have that option. When I walk up to the table, I'm at that height. Uh, they, the large monitor, so everyone has easy access to the work that's going on. They can see it clearly. Even just the fact that we have a, a whiteboard, and so students can pick up a pen, and they have yet another way to uh, express the ideas that they have. And it's just come together to work in, in, in a pretty unique way, and uh, I think we're somewhat lucky that we, that we found this. I even have uh, other classes. There's a journalism class that comes in uh, before school uh, often to work in the room because they're often working in small groups and it's just a great environment to collaborate in. I was talking with someone in the construction industry and when he heard about it, he got really excited and he said he was going to actually build one of these pods uh, in his office because all the time he's trying to collaborate with other people and they need equal access to, to see what's going on and be able to discuss it. And so I'm just uh, excited to see uh, where these ideas might go and how other people might adapt them to, to whatever uh, they're working on.